first time ever fishing Digger Lakes and hopefully I catch some big carp or at least something. That's all I want to catch is something out of there and hopefully not a duck, eh? Just got me bivy set up, everything's ready. Just need to go through and see what bait I'm picking and make myself up some new PVA bags. Cause I got some in here, but they're all a bit old really. So we'll have a little look and see what we can find. All right, let's have a little look through them. So we got our sweet corn pellets. Thinking about using them, but I don't know. I think I will, I reckon it would work here. My dad just gave me this before I went off. He said, uh, just use it, it all, always works quite good. What actually is it? School pack squid. So that will, hopefully that works, because Paul just said so, innit? Oh, I love me bread flakes. Always got to take them with me. So this is my new bait. It's the salmon and shrimp. Obviously had this in the past, and I bought it online. 60p it cost me for 200 grams at 15 mil. That was an absolute bargain. I couldn't say no, really. So then, Tangerine Dream. They're a bit, always make a bit of a mess, but I reckon we'll chuck all that in the PVA bag, see what happens. But now we've got to choose our bait of choice. Ooh, I've got a, this is an Indian spice, obviously. I've got a good idea, because the yellow ones in here, they're sweet corn flavor. And if I chuck them with some sweet corn pellets, I reckon that'll do a good combo. So get that there. And then we've got to pick between what we're using next might use one of these pink pop-ups in there see how it goes wait no these aren't pop-ups these are wafters it says pop-ups but they're wafters one of these pink wafters not really sure what flavor they are but give it a go eh so what i've put on my rods is this pink cell wafter and this sweet corn wafter and while i quickly finish off doing all that made myself some PVA bags. So in this one, I've got some salmon and shrimp boilie there, bread flakes, and some of these pellets of the Scorpex squid. So that's all right. I made that one nice and big. Tuck to the side for now. This one is just all boilies, salmon and shrimp at the top, some bread flakes in between, and at the bottom, some Tangerine Dream, what got everywhere, so I decided not to use it again for now. And just in this last one, I've got a mix of sweet corn pellets and some of those Supex squid pellets as well. So, hopefully, I'll catch a big old carp. Just sending me rig out with the baiting pole. Watch out for that moray, he's getting a bit close, isn't he? So I'm just getting it out there more is coming in for it so hopefully he gets away oh little roach just jumped in the back there i'll get back to you in five minutes when i get drop it off so we're having a little bit of a problem with that moro there he's become a bit of a problem because we've got the baiting foam and that's where we want it gives us a little indicator where we can chuck our bait and the they're known for just eating them so we're trying to scare them away Bait is dropped, flipped upside down, and get back to you in a minute, and we'll have it all rigged up. Solve the problem, instead of just waiting, just chuck it out now, and you won't have to wait for the foam to come up and this moray just to eat it. Saves the moray eating it, and as well as keeps the bait there. <laughs> So both my rods are out now then. I've got one rod back in there just by the side doing well. Nothing yet because I've only just got it out. But see out there she always reads. That's where I've got my other rod out. Hopefully I'll catch something big at the end of the day, eh? Thought pick up some large pork sausages. It's bigger than the buns. The goose train. Look at them all, hundreds. How can there be that many in one lake? It's ridiculous. Just redone my rods, ready for the night action. Thought, might as well just make some PVA bags. Let's do it. 
You're probably thinking that's too many PVA bags, and he said he had to make some up. It's because. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Yeah, it's alright. It's just because these are all some old ones I made on the last fishing trip, and I thought might as well use some of my new bait up, see how it goes. So, so far we've chucked the sweet corn pellets in and the squid pellets in, but we need to put some boilies in there. So what I'd like to do, because I got a, so what I like to do, because I got a, quite a few salmon and shrimp here, is I'll put in three like that, and then these two, what I'll do is I'll just crunch them up, because these are new boilies, they're quite um squishy to be able, so I can cut it straight in half if I just squeeze it. Right. See how it goes perfectly. Squeeze it all the way. Look at that so far. Now let's bust next then. See they get everywhere, but they do smell like it. So we might chuck one or two in. Yeah, we'll put one or two in. So we've got the tangerine dreams. We've got two because they make a quite a mess. What we'll do is I kind of just drop that one there. I'll cut this one in half. I just move that off of it, down, the other off, see it gets everywhere, grab this other one, so this one I'll just plop it straight in, and then, to finish it off, we've got to get these bread flakes, now if you've ever had bre bread flakes, these are a couple months old, opened, and they stink, like they reek, but, got to do what they got to do, right? This is what I mean by a couple months old, ever with that. God! <coughs> Bloody hell! To be fair, that stink on them. I think I'll leave them out of this PVA bag. It stink. <laughs> I coughed a few times, even off camera. I can't do it dealing with that, especially with my hands. I wouldn't be able to do anything with my hands. Bloody stinks. See, it'd be really cool right now if my rods just went off, because it'd be a live take, but... I don't think they will. It's really annoying. See, I've kind of stopped it quite a bit, as you can see. But all we got to do is squeeze that down. Look, watch this. See what I mean by this tangerine dream? It gets everywhere. It's all over the PVA. Be it right, though. All right, let's tie this up. See, I've got it all tied. But here's the thing. If I just leave it like that and cut it off, the PVA bag here will just be open. If I put any more bait in, it will fall off. So I've got to make another small knot right there as close as i can but not too close let's do it there you go look there you go look see a small little indent there and now if i try to do this one-handed oh get straight fully functional pva bag Check that out. So we got our squid pellets in the bottom. Move up a bit. We got our sweet corn. Then we have our salmon and shrimp, and our tangerine dream. I'm not really sure what's in a tangerine dream. Is it? Is it a tangerine? Do you reckon? Beautiful little PVA bag. Now then, let's hope these rods scream off in a minute. So I reckon we just make the two PVA bags and also get some of this tangerine dream stuff off, off the end of it. And I'll just chuck just some pellets on it, because I know like this lake is better just to have pellets on the end of it. So we've got our sweet corn pellets in there, and now we just need to get our sco... Our scopex squid. What's he doing? Who do you think he is? Get out. Get out of all. So I've got my Scopex squid. Actually, before we tie that fully, I don't think it's actually squid. This classic bait that carp would will not stop demanding. Scopex squid is most famous Nash bait blend of all time, a proven big fish formula using Scopex and red liver oil and the exclusive Nash Bait Squid Extract. The bait has been breaking records in the UK for over 30 years. Damn. Well, good thing we're chucking it on air, eh? So I've had to wrap around, around the top, but 
so that I could actually tie it around. I forgot to show it with the other one. Just makes it all stay down a bit better. So I just quickly was about to finish tying that off. And then he jumped up there and I turned around and there's a bunch of Canadian geese behind me. There's even some in bush behind and that's a proper young one actually. Bosh, PVA is tied. PVA is tied and I just need to tie another knot right there. Bosh, that's all I'll be tying because I don't want to tie too many or I'll just have too many PVA bags. Obviously, but if you're wondering what these two tools here are because you never want fishing, that will basically, if anything gets stuck in there, in the PVA bit, I can push it down with that. And this bit here, you see that there? It's a little blade and it will cut the boilies in half, just in case like your fingers hurt or something. Or you just can't do it. Gotta get in the trapper, tracker mug with a bit of hot chocolate in it. Just looking at that view, waiting for my rods to scream. So I woke up obviously the next day, but you don't really see in the video, but um, so I get, kept them fishing for a few more hours till about three and nothing. And I guess that's the way it goes when you can't fish sometimes. Complete blank, no, nothing. It's just so annoying. But get, we can get back out there, do it again whenever I want.